Hi, this is Ben Mirner with the Law Office of Ben Mirner, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the walk and turn test, which is one of the three standardized field sobriety tests used by officers in DUI investigations. Now, officers will commonly use this test because they know this is considered the most difficult field sobriety test because A, it has the most instructions, and B, it's very difficult for someone to perform who is completely sober, regardless of if they have balance issues or not. Now, in this particular test, as you'll see, the officer asks you to stand in an instructional position throughout his instructions. Now, this position is very hard for anyone to maintain. After that, the officer asks you to take nine steps forward, perform a specific turn, and take nine steps back. The problem is the officer does not indicate things that you cannot do. For example, raising your arms. It's very common that an individual may raise their arms for balance just out of human nature, and the officer does not tell you you cannot do that. They actually penalize the individual and that is just one example of how a person can be falsely perceived to be impaired even if they are not impaired beyond the limit. And that is precisely why you need a trained DUI attorney that will fight for you. For a free consultation or for more information, contact the Law Office of Ben Mariner at 818-261-0979 or visit him online at marinerlaw.com.